really proud that we've uh, that we won and, and we're having an opportunity to get to the championship game. Um, thought we defended well. Thought we got to their three point shooters well. Um, you know, and uh, just gotta keep it going. Proud to live another day. Questions for the student athletes, and please identify yourself. Aaron Viner, Western Courier. Ashley, you had a really good job getting a lot of rebounds in this game. What made you so successful? Um, I think just getting early position and just really wanting to pursue the basketball is what I did. Top it off with that Kim, you saw uh, where Western did the Royal Roberts came to the big lead, then they were able to hold them off. Did you guys feel like it was important to establish an early lead to kind of try to take any momentum that they might have going away from the end of the game? Um, yes. Uh, we know that Western plays hard for 40 minutes, so having a lead doesn't mean that we're going to win the game. So we were just trying to not only keep the lead, but build on the lead and just use that momentum to give us the win. Abby Wayne or ESPN, I know you're just still decompressing from this game, but your first couple of matches against South Dakota State, what do you take away from those coming in tomorrow? Um, just, we have to go in there and play hard and not have any empty possessions and just play together as a team and have each other's back. Yes, and rebound. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, for either of you guys, you guys held Western's leading three-point shooter Kuntate to zero points, no three-pointers. What What was your guys' game plan coming into that? Number twenty-one. Number twenty-one. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really know which one she was. Um, <laughs> Well, Brianna Eldridge was guarding her, and she's probably one of our best defenders, if not our best defender. So she just works really hard all the time, and this was just another kind of game that we got for her. So. Other questions for the student athletes? Okay, thank you very much. We'll just go to the locker room. Continue with questions for Coach Whitaker. Coach Elise was just a really solid game. What did you like most out of her play today? You know, she's like that for us all the time. Um, you know, for her, it's always got to be decision making. You know, the shot shot selection, the shots that she takes. Um, you know, when to when to push the ball, when not. I thought she did a really good job of just being in rhythm with this game and, and what we needed uh, when we needed it. Coach, you had four players in double figures, five over eight points. What made your offense so successful tonight? I think the fact that we have the ability to do that is what makes us successful, that we have multiple people that can score. Um, if we can move the basketball and execute, um, you know, we can have multiple people in double figures. Um, and I, I prefer that, you know, than having down with a 40-point game and, um, you know, spread it out and, and really be kind of equal opportunity. Anything else for Coach? What will be keys? for you that you'll look at going into tomorrow? You know, I, for us, we got to keep them off the foul line. Um, you know, at our place, we had a 12-point lead going into half, and um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think we put them on the line 38 times or, or something like that throughout the game. Um, so we've got to be able to defend them internally without fouling, um, keep them off the free throw line. I, you know, if we can keep it out of Sonnenberg's hands, that would be great. And then I, I think they, you'd see to, uh, you tend to see them make runs when they can get threes off in transition. You know, today Joe Young hit three in a row. I mean, that just you just can't let that happen. So um, they're tough to guard because they have good inside and outside game. They move the basketball well. They seal inside as well as anyone I've seen. Um, you know, they'll high and low you to death if you allow them to. Brian Anderson, WXO. You, uh, Coach, you know that the fans are going to come out in for SDSU mm -hmm. tomorrow. Uh, getting, getting, yeah. <laughs> getting off to a fast start is always a good thing. Is that going to be something you guys especially stress tomorrow? Yeah, I mean we're just we're just going to have to really do our best to cut their runs. I mean, and not let the you know their momentum continue to go and their fans just getting an uproar and um, it's just just you know a lot of people out there that uh, are Jackrabbit fans in this area and uh, you know we're just going to have to be solid and and you know counter runs. I think that's going to be important. No. Mm -hmm.
Terry Vandebeck with the Argus Theater. Um, Coach, you've got six seniors. You've got a really experienced team. They haven't been to, to the finals before. Um, is it just the overall experience they have? Will that, will that take down some of the newness, you think, of, of being on that stage in, in the final game? I mean, you can't trade anything for experience. And, um, you know, I think that's why you've seen us have success this year. And, um, you know, they're going to be important to, to, to be level-headed and not try to play emotionally. But, um, you know, that's why we're, you know, have a winning season and 20-plus wins is because we have experience. We've been running the same offense. We have a lot of returners this year. Um, and we have to continue to lean on that. Question right here. Matt Pock, WXOU Radio. Coach, uh, you guys shot over, uh, over 11 uh, three in the second half. Um, were you, did you like the shot oh, wow, selection? Wow, I didn't realize that. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. <laughs> um, did you like the shot selection at least? You know, I did. I didn't. I, you know, I thought that I thought Kim took a couple quick ones, and we didn't need it. Um, but I, I thought, for the most part, we were open. We had a lot of penetrate and kick, um, and, and those are good shots for us. So, you know, we, they didn't go, obviously. Um, but I thought actually in the first half, I was more disappointed in our shot selection. I thought the pressure kind of let us get out of whack, and we'd go try to create one on one instead of running, you know, running and executing. We got time for one more question. Back here. There we go. Uh, Dylan Scott with the KSF Line Coach. Your team has had a phenomenal run so far in this tournament, but one thing about SDSU, they haven't lost in it before. They're 11 now. Just as a coach to your players, you know, what do you say to them before a game like this? Because I'm sure, like you said, the emotions will be high, but, you know, this will be a great game and a big game for them. You know, luckily we've we've uh, we're battle tested. You know, we have lost games where people um, that we should have won. We've uh, won games that maybe we shouldn't have won. Um, and our players know it's about what happens in that 40 minutes. It doesn't matter what happened in the last two meetings. Um, we can't live off our success, and we can't stay in our failures. So we're gonna um, step on that floor and be ready to go and see what happens.